This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you something that I wish I knew earlier. And I just remembered this. Um, this was when I, when I explored this thing, I was shocked. So yeah, let's just go straight right into it. Um, first thing, uh, we are talking about Blueprint Macro Library. And what this do is basically you can create one code, you can parent it to some class, character, anything really. And once you parent it, you can use these um, macros all over your parent class. So I will show you uh, how to do it in a second. Okay, so you know uh, the feeling when you are casting to your third person character for example in the third person character i will create a variable and i will call it something like money and this money is my variable that's inside of the bp third person character and if i would uh, create user interface here and call it money ui and just quickly I would put canvas and text to get this money you know the process uh, we would need to create a binding or set it uh, with the just nodes but basically for both of these you would need something that's called a reference to a BP third person character right so let me simplify this for you um, if we create a binding in return value we need to get money right but we cannot get it like this because we need a reference to our third person character so what you would uh, do if you don't know about the macros you would cast to the third person character all over again every um, user widget that you have right but you don't have to do that so the process would go like this cast a uh, third person character you would get player character if the cast failed you would delay it until next tick so you ignore the error get like this and you would promote this to a character reference and from here you would get money right but this is this works but it's not really effective so i'm going to show you how to do it easier way you can go to your blueprints and right click blueprint and blueprint macro library and now you can select the parent class you select where you want to have your macros you can create macro for every single uh, one of those classes but in my case i'm i'm gonna create it in user widget because i have the thing that i want to show the money variable so i'm selecting uh, user widget and call it ui macros and think with this UI macros is I can use it in every widget not only the money UI every future widget as well so let's call this cast to third person character or cast to character and how we would do this is just uh, cast to BP third person character you type it like this then this execution pin goes into input and this one goes into output this delay um, uh, this uh, cast failed uh, goes into delay until next tick so we don't get the errors if the we don't have the bp third person character in the world object would be get player character right and um, as bp third person character we would get output and call it character reference so just hold it and drag it right into the output so right now we create a new macro so instead of doing this boring stuff all over again what I can do is just type cast to character and when you see the letter M that's your macro press it and now you have the character reference and you can get money from it and it would work but you can also promote it to variable like this, like you would usually do, with one click. And now, if we go to get text, I can get this character reference, 
get money and as you can see now if I add it to my viewport real quick I'm just gonna create a widget for it compile play um, I have zero money right now so let me get simple one key to add some money real quick this is just showing you that it works so as you can see the reference works and the number is displaying properly so this UI macros are gonna save you tons tons of time I cannot stress it enough how much time this little node is gonna save you because not only cast to character you can create cast to game mode as well you can create multiple of the macros you can uh, create whatever you really like here and you can use it over your parent class so I hope I made your life easier with this uh, because when I discovered this I was really uh, hyped about it because this is insane how much time you can save so that's it for this episode see you in the next video bye